Hello everyone, welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. It's time to delve deeper into the crypts and continue our search for the Shield of the Ancients. Alright, so I've looked at everything behind me this way. If you look at the mini-map while that's explored, it's time to continue up here. And I haven't forgotten about these switches, which apparently open some sort of a timed thing according to what I heard. As in literally what I heard. Because I heard it close shortly after. Yep, just closed. Oh, okay, a couple more side doors before that. Probably both locked. Actually, I have so many keys, I probably have a key for it. Oh, no I don't. I think I hear an undead in there. Bless ourselves. Not really a very successful attempt. There you go. Hmm. Kind of looks like a doorway. Kind of. I think just because it seems brighter than everything else, but that might actually not be one. Oh, look at that baby little chest. <laughs> look at that thing. It's so cute. Oh, I want one. That is adorable. That is seriously so adorable. Locked. Let's see if I have the key for that. Nope. Hold on. Nope, nothing around here. Yeah, I hear a zombie, but I guess it's not actually in this room. Okay. Bless ourselves again. Whoops, I just used it on the corpse. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Not really a very successful attempt. Come on, how hard can it be? There you go. I guess it is tiny. Oh. I guess it is tiny. I'd probably make it harder, wouldn't it? Jewels. It's a jewel box. Or a jewelry box. Hey. The top of this door ain't got no polys. Look at that. What is that? Um, this is unacceptable. I'm uninstalling this game immediately. Oh. Whew. That's a lot of loot. A rope. Hmm. Its presence might imply that I can use it. Torches are always good. <laughs> One wooden stake. I'm going to need more than that. Some papers. I'll read those in a second. Let's check out the other side first. Yeah, everything's locked. Ah, I actually have the key to this one. Whoa! Why did it just close? That didn't sound... What the fuck? That didn't sound good. Why did it close? It plugged like a... <laughs> There's like random horror movie cues going on right now. You were dead. <laughs> I 
Hello. Another stone with a carved sign. That's two of them. I wonder what I do with them. As of yet, I have found absolutely nothing for them to go into. I'm assuming they're part of some puzzle or some sort of a key. I don't know. Oh yeah, I should probably mention that. Uh, a viewer reminded me about the fact that I kind of have another quest that I haven't done. I've completely forgotten about it. It's the one from a long time ago about the troll who has a birthday, and if I want to be his friend, he wants a birthday present. So, yeah, I'm going to do that at some point. Whenever I get back to the outside world, which is technically the inside world, because we're all underground. So, probably going to be a bit, but I do want to do that. I'm still not sure what to give him as a present, but I could try some stuff. Oh god, no, please open it. Hmm, judging by the map, it looks like this comes out as like a shortcut. Ah, I remember seeing this, yeah. There was obviously a door here, but I couldn't find any sort of a switch. And it looks like because there's probably not one. Looks like you can only open it from the back. Cool. Secret secrets. Fireball. You can sell that. Alright, let's read these. Let's see what we've got. Oh crap, I auto-sorted it. Sh shit. Oh no, I have so many books! I think it was just called a book, right? Yes, yeah, this is definitely one of them. Okay, nobody in the kingdom knows of my mission. The king chose me because I am the best zombie hunter there is. I know my task is not an easy one, but I have gathered all the tools I need to destroy these abominations. Mummies are formidable opponents, but they are easy to wipe out, because their living corpses burn very well. The other undeads are more, are more difficult to destroy because they have this annoying habit of getting up again when you think you finish them off. The spell to drive them away only works for a short period of time, but it doesn't kill them. The best way, and the only way I know, in fact, is to plunge a stake deep into the undead's body before it gets up again. That way, it will be destroyed for good. I don't think the equipment I have will be enough. Luckily, my prestigious predecessors left me in some very useful tools. I hope I'll be able to cleanse this holy place so people can once again come and pay homage to their dead. I've already been on a reconnaissance mission on the first level of the crypt, but I must stay alert to the dangers all around me. May the gods be with you. Asriel Darkthorn. <laughs> that is an awesome fantasy name, Asriel Darkthorn. I'm going to write that down. Oh yeah, Asriel Darkthorn. It's kind of silly, but it's kind of awesome too. Alright, there's one more. It's one of these three pieces of paper with writing on them as they're so wonderfully described as. Mm. No, it's definitely not it. Nope. It's got to be this one. Oh, there we go. 131 is the key to open my brother's treasures. 131. Okay. 131. I wonder if that's literally a code that you enter on one of those code things, or a clue to something else. Well, it's his brother. And it was with the notes left by Azrael Darkthorn, right? So it'd be... Some other name, Darkthorn, would be his brother? Is he buried down here, maybe? 
I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. And thankfully, it sounds like mummies can just be burned, which is good, because I have my wonderful fireball. Go, 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 go. Oh, it looks like you can just open it from this side. Hopefully permanently. No thanks. Let's pick a side and go exploring. Oh, that just opened it. Oh, this must be the the one three one, right? Well, maybe. All right, I'm gonna take care of you. Oh yeah, yeah this is it. Okay, so you just press it once. And then it resets automatically. So do this one once, do this one three times, and do this one once. One, three, one. need to be more patient? Hold on. Let's be more patient. One. One. Two. Three. Did you have the three I, I don't even know. I kind of lost count. I was staring at something. In my notes. Maybe that's not it. I'm pretty sure that's it, though. I mean, I just received something telling me 131. And here is something of the perfect length. Something that you can reasonably enter 131 into. Hmm. I mean, hell, maybe it worked, but... I just don't know where it opened? Eh, it seems unlikely. But then again, if it opened somewhere in this room, where would it open? Oh, it could be this. Could easily be a secret door. Maybe it's entered the other way. Right to left. I really thought that would have been it. Oh shit. Uh Okay. I was thinking for a second maybe it was a it was a trap. It's not. Just weigh this down. 
It sounded like it opened something. I'm guessing there's probably one on the other side that needs to be weighted down to. Oh, maybe there's three of them. No key for this one. That's not possible. Not possible? I can't do that. Hmm. There's something up there. Can't see anything, but I can't really quite see up there anyway. Am I crazy, or is that pickaxe, like, huge? That's a really big pickaxe. Another stone with a carved sign. Yeah, I can't use them myself. They must be used on something. At this point, I think I'm seeing even small things like weird level geometry as hidden doors and stuff. Like, if you look here, there's like a slight seam, but I think it's just a level design thing. Alright, this should do it, hopefully. Yep. Okay. I'm still bothered about... about the code thing over here. Let me read the note again. 131 is the key to my brother's treasures. One, three, one. Is there any other way to enter 131 than how I did it? Oh. Oh my god, it's so obvious. It's not... It's not how many times you press each one. It's which... It's the order to press them in. You press the first one, and then the third one. And then the first one. One, three, one. Yeah. There we go. The way I was doing it before was actually perfectly valid, but it was just... Definitely not the only way to do it. I don't know why it took me so long to think of another plausible way to enter one, three, one into this. All right, what did that actually do, though? I heard a click, but the thing actually opened. Actually, if I do it again, I might lock it. Perhaps it's in the one over. What did that do?
there was the one door that couldn't be opened. Uh, it couldn't be lockpicked anyway. Said it was impossible. Maybe it opened that one. Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah. <sighs> uh. Little shit. I think I have one disable trap left, right? Oh, no I don't. Okay. I don't have a spell for that, do I? I know I can use my tools, but if I can save their durability, I'd prefer to. Bless myself. There you go. Hello, brother. Brother Darkthorn. Huh. That wasn't as amazing a reward as I thought it would be. I mean, it's not bad, but... I feel like the economy in this game is kinda totally messed up. I mean, I sold my junk and I've... I'm rich. So it makes finding 100 gold kind of like, eh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a shrug your shoulders kind of thing, like, that's cool. I can add a couple more coins to my massive pile. I mean, for Christ's sakes, you can sell, like, a fireball spell, which I can do infinitely if I wanted to, so there's no reason to actually use the paper scroll version of it, which just gives me one one fireball, uh, and you can sell the fireball for, like, f somewhere between 400 and 600. And that's with a character that has a low... What skill is it? Intuition? Yeah. Intuition improves your... Uh, higher intuition improves your trading prices. And I have a very, very low intuition, and I'm already rich, just from selling random doodads. Ah, next floor. It's probably the floor that has the Shield of the Ancients, huh? Yes, it is. There it is. Hmm. I don't know about you, but that seems slightly suspicious. I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's something about the way it seems to defy the laws of physics. I don't think I can do this, can I? No. Ah, sweet. Oh, that's weird. There's apparently a bone here. Anything else hidden? Another bone? Invisible bones. <gasps> Alright, well I don't see a switch of any sort. Or a pressure plate. Whoa. That's a big room. No switches on the walls. Nope. Ooh, neat.
That would be a mummy. Which thankfully I think will actually die to my fireballs. Permanently. Based on what I read. From the vampire hunter. Hmm. It's got a lot of health. Okay, so you have to burn them to death, right? Uh, can I incinerate? No? Fireball? I have no idea if that was necessary. That's a weird shape to cut out in the floor. And it kinda matches this. The stone tablet. Hmm. That seems like an opening. Perhaps that is for this? No. No. I guess the shape doesn't make any sense, does it? No, it doesn't. Would not fit. Hmm. Yes, I did just try to shove a chunk of metal in there. Don't think I have way in there yet. How many torches do I have left? One? Shit. weird, I can select the stained glass window. Can I break it or something? Hit it with a shovel. Oh, you can. It makes a weird ass noise, but you can. I don't know what the point of that is. It satisfies my desire for wanton destruction, I suppose. if it does anything to destroy them all. Yeah. Whoa, did that just hurt me? I think the glass shards actually hurt me. I'm probably pissing off some sort of a lich demon by doing that. You destroyed my windows! Do you know how much those cost me? Oh yeah, set up the trap. Have fun with that. Oh, I see. It doesn't count for mummies. It's got a fucking mummy sensor in it, apparently. Ooh, level up. It's been a while since that happened. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So I'm definitely going more towards a mage character, so I'm absolutely going to spend it in mental... I'm going mental. I wish I could actually undo that. Because I wasn't paying attention to what my mana points were at before. So I'm not sure how much it just went up. Anyway, okay. Um, Let's see. So it'll give me access to more spells. Obviously that's a good thing. Yeah, and I, I, 
I was um getting some information about Ethereal Link and whether it's actually worth it to get this, spend any points in it. And the reason I was wondering is because it does increase my mana regain rate. Which I've noticed is definitely a problem. You know, uh, my mana regaining very slowly. And apparently if you only put like a minimum, uh, a fairly small amount of points into it, it's really not worth upgrading. It's not going to make that big of a difference. And it mostly comes down to patience. Just waiting for your mana to regain. Because in most, in most situations you can, right? You can just kill one enemy and then kind of just wait until your mana comes back to maybe kill the next. So it's really not that important. I really want to increase my technical skill though, because I'm having some trouble with locked things. And object knowledge. I mean, in terms of importance, I suppose it's probably casting, and then technical skill, and then object knowledge, and then the others I don't really care about that much. Object knowledge is pretty low. I, I don't care about it as far as making potions too much. I've seen that potions are not particularly important to make, it seems. Uh, mostly I want this just for identifying items. It'd be pretty cool. I still have an unidentified saber. Although, honestly, I probably couldn't even use the saber, but still. So, I'm going to get this up to 60. Let's get this up to 70. And then let's just spend the rest in technical skill. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see if I can cast more fireballs now. Because before, I think I could only cast one. Or, no, was it two? Yeah, I can only cast two fireballs, and then I ran out of mana. Holy lag. I've got nine left. Okay, so I can actually cast four now. Just barely, but I can cast four. Sweet. My regain rate is still quite slow. Wait a minute, what did that do? Nothing happened. I'm scared to walk on it, because I don't know what the hell that did. There's no spikes, there's no arrows that I saw. Hmm. Alright. There's another strange thing carved out of the ground, which seems to kind of resemble these carved signs. Huh. Did that, did that open the one on the other side? Looks like a pit of, like, blood and gore in there. What the hell is that? It's weird looking. Ah, there's my last torch. Yeah, these guys have not woken up. No. Get away from me. I'm not going to bother staking him. Should probably cast night vision. Or see in the dark, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, night vision. There we 
go makes everything look unbelievably hideous. But at least I can see. I hear a rat, but I don't see it. There you are. I think I heard another one. Yep. Zombie doesn't see me. Okay, let's check the other side. Is it taking out mana? I think it is. Well, it's certainly not going up. Hmm. Alright, this color is making my eyes burn. I'm sorry, I'm turning it off. Whew. Hello? Another unidentified saber. Glowy. There we go, there's another one. Oh, that circle, yeah, that matches the circle I saw. More than this one did. I can't seem to use them, though. At least not on the shape itself. Here's another one. I said an idea. Yeah, I have an idea. Hold on. What the hell does that do? These these traps don't seem to do anything. Join us. Oh, where'd you come from? symbol. Although with my idea, I can't reconcile my idea with why there'd be a symbol in here other than maybe the symbol is just a reminder. But if it's telling me I should do something in this room, then my idea doesn't make any sense. And yes, I'll explain what my idea is in just a second. Alright, I'm thinking perhaps it has something to do with light. And given that you can break these windows and there's these candles here, maybe you can like... Well, let's see which one this one is. This is. Do I have it? Yeah, that'd be this. The the moon thing. Thinking maybe I use it on something here? I think... Hold on. I think it's actually lighting up. Is it? Kind of, but it doesn't actually do anything. I mean, I'm not sure what this would actually do, even if you could hold it up. It doesn't seem like it would really do anything. It's just a... It's a stone. It's not like a light would pass through it. It is very strange that these lights are here, though, and you can break the windows. And there's these symbols here. What if I just drop it? I mean, it's not it's nowhere near big enough. Hmm. There's something going on here, but I'm not sure what. And what the hell is this? I think I'm going to have to levitate over this cuz it looks like it's going to burn off my feet. And I believe I actually have a levitate spell. There it is. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh! Jesus!
Ah, pressure plate. Well, if that's controlled by a pressure plate, then what does this do? Oh, I guess just that's just so if you manage to get in here without unlocking both, you could just unlock them from the back. How close are we? Oh, we're pretty close. In fact, given the size of this chamber, it, I think it's in this chamber. The Shield of the Ancients. What's going on down there? The light's creepy looking, but it's just one of those force field things. Oh my, oh. This appears to be some sort well, of... Well, well. I see I have a new visitor. What are you, traveler? Or Tomb Raider. Laura Groft, that's my name. Who goes there? I am Gladivere, guardian of the shield of the ancients, and that which common mortals call a ghost. A ghost? I come for the shield. Behind this door is the pathway that leads to the shield. Do you think yourself worthy of it? It is an object of great power, and only a being of superior intelligence can take it from me. Why should I trust you? Traveler, know this. Ghosts do not lie. We can refuse to speak, but with every word that passes our lips, we speak the truth. Well, I await your riddle. You come from the setting sun and go towards the rising sun. To go beyond the sun, identify and honor the six elements of the six ancients. First, place the turning slabs in the position of the six houses of the ancients. And what if there were a link between these runes and the symbols I saw on the ground before I came in here? Indeed. <laughs> this is so cool. A freaking riddle. A ghost wants to play a game. There's a clue. Awesome. So there's six of them, huh? Which means I'm missing two, right? Because I've only got four. This is so cool. I love this place. Alright, well, I can easily undo that with a spell. Alright, well, this is a good place to end this episode. I am liking this dungeon more and more the deeper I go. This game is so freaking cool. It's really, really cool. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we will resume our... Salvation of the Riddle for the Shield of the Ancients.